Liliana Krofibedia could became a statistics of the identity death toll on November 2. She was crossing the road around the popular bus stop filling. She had left home at Sakura a few meters from the highway to buy Bonko in Tilapia for supper. Lillian met her untimely death at the hand of two vehicles. She was knocked down by one and the second a taxi ran her over. Both drivers absconded. Fiancé of Lillian, Samson Gwedi Boafo, was with her when she met her untimely death that fateful day. It happened so fast. Samson wished he could turn back the time. When the second car ran her over, the driver stopped but got scared of the crowd and sped off. Samson and Lillian were known by both families and have been living together for some time now. He pours his heart out. For him, persons in authority do not feel the pain of families who have lost loved ones, hence their lackadaisical attitude having the bridges fixed. I don't know what the authorities are doing about it. It has not affected them in any way. That's why nothing has been done about it. They have worried us. An estimated 200 lives have been lost with several others left with permanent disabilities. Six-foot bridges on the Medina Denton Highway have been abandoned for close to 10 years. While the footbridges remain uncompleted, Ghana continues to lose citizens through knocked downs on a daily basis.